In a monumental step toward modernizing its naval capabilities, the United Kingdom is poised to launch its highly anticipated Dreadnought-class submarines. These state-of-the-art vessels represent a significant advancement in nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, or SSBNs, designed to bolster the UK's defense capabilities and maintain its strategic position on the global stage. As the UK prepares to unveil these billion-dollar submarines, the implications for naval warfare and international security are profound. Imagine submarines capable of silently navigating the depths of the world's oceans, armed with advanced nuclear missiles and equipped to deter threats from afar. This is the reality of the UK's Dreadnought-class submarines, heralding a new era in naval technology and strategic deterrence. In this video, we delve into the groundbreaking features, strategic importance, and global implications of the Dreadnought class, exploring how these submarines are set to redefine the future of naval warfare. The Dreadnought class submarines represent the UK's next generation of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, set to replace the aging Vanguard class. Named after the iconic British battleship HMS Dreadnought, which revolutionized naval warfare in the early 20th century, these submarines are at the forefront of modern defense technology. At the core of their design is their role as strategic deterrent platforms. Equipped with Trident II D-5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, the Dreadnought-class submarine plays a crucial role in the UK's nuclear deterrent strategy. This strategy, known as Continuous At-Sea Deterrence, ensures that at least one submarine is always on patrol, ready to respond to potential threats with overwhelming and credible nuclear force if necessary. The capabilities of the Dreadnought-class submarines extend beyond their formidable armament. They incorporate advanced stealth technology to evade detection, sophisticated command and control systems to manage nuclear assets, and enhanced survivability features to operate in contested maritime environments. These submarines are designed to operate for decades, adapting to emerging threats and technological advancements in naval warfare. Strategically, the introduction of the Dreadnought-class submarines reinforces the UK's commitment to maintaining a credible nuclear deterrent posture amidst evolving global security challenges. It underscores the UK's role as a leading maritime power and its contribution to collective defense within NATO and other international security alliances. The Dreadnought-class submarines incorporate cutting-edge tech that enhances their capabilities in stealth, propulsion, and strategic armament. One of the key advancements is in stealth technology, which enables these submarines to operate quietly and evade detection underwater. This includes advanced hull designs and noise reduction measures that minimize acoustic signatures, making them less vulnerable to detection by enemy submarines and anti-submarine warfare systems. Propulsion systems on the Dreadnought-class submarines are nuclear-powered, providing them with virtually unlimited endurance and the ability to operate submerged for extended periods without needing to surface. This nuclear propulsion not only enhances their operational range and endurance, but also supports the submarine's power-intensive systems, including propulsion, life support, and advanced sensors. The missile armament of the Dreadnought-class submarine centers around the Trident II D-5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles. These missiles are critical components of the UK's nuclear deterrent capability, capable of delivering multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles or MIRVs with high accuracy over intercontinental distances. The Trident II D-5 missiles are known for their reliability, range, and survivability, providing a credible deterrent against potential adversaries. Compared to the previous Vanguard-class submarines, the Dreadnought-class represents a significant leap forward in terms of technological sophistication and strategic capabilities. While the Vanguard-class also carried Trident missiles, the Dreadnought-class submarines incorporate advancements in stealth, automation, and overall operational efficiency. These improvements not only enhance their survivability and effectiveness, but also reduce life cycle costs and the maintenance requirements over their service life. The UK's investment in the Dreadnought-class submarines is driven by strategic imperatives to maintain national security and enhance strategic deterrence capabilities. As a nuclear-armed state, the UK relies on its nuclear deterrent as a cornerstone of its defense policy, ensuring that potential adversaries perceive a credible threat and robust response to any threat against national interest or allies. The role of Dreadnought-class submarines in maintaining strategic deterrence cannot be overstated. Through continuous at-sea deterrence, at least one submarine remains on patrol at all times, providing a responsive and survivable nuclear deterrent capability. This posture reinforces the UK's commitment to deterrence theory, which posits that the threat of retaliation with nuclear weapons discourages aggression and ensures stability in international relations. 
Strategically, the introduction of the Dreadnought-class submarines enhances the UK's defense posture within NATO and its broader contributions to global security frameworks. As a key ally, the UK's nuclear deterrent capability provides reassurance to NATO allies and contributes to collective defense efforts against shared threats. It also underscores the UK's commitment to upholding international security norms and obligations under various arms control agreements. Internationally, the deployment of the Dreadnought-class submarines may influence geopolitical dynamics and strategic calculations among global powers. It signals the UK's capacity and willingness to invest in advanced military tech that strengthens its role as a global maritime power and contributes to stability in maritime domains critical to international security and trade. The development of the Dreadnought-class submarines represents a multi-decade endeavor aimed at enhancing the UK's deterrent capabilities and replacing the aging Vanguard-class submarines. The timeline spans from the initial conceptualization to the anticipated launch of these advanced vessels. The concept of the Dreadnought-class submarines emerged as part of the UK's government's commitment to maintaining a continuous at-sea nuclear deterrent capability. The project officially began with the decision to proceed with the successor program in 2011, following a thorough assessment of the strategic requirements and technological feasibility studies. This marked the start of the design phase, where engineers and naval architects began conceptualizing the submarine specifications and capabilities. By 2016, detailed work had progressed significantly, and construction on the first Dreadnought-class submarine, HMS Dreadnought, began at BAE Systems Borough in Furnace Shipyard. The construction phase is a highly complex process involving the integration of advanced technologies, including nuclear propulsion systems, stealth features, and ballistic missile armament. Each submarine in the class is expected to undergo rigorous testing and certification to ensure operational readiness and reliability. Challenges during the development, construction, and testing phases have been substantial. These include technological complexities associated with integrating advanced systems into a cohesive platform, stringent safety and regulatory requirements for nuclear-powered submarines, and the need to meet stringent performance benchmarks. Delays and cost overruns are not uncommon in projects of this scale and complexity, requiring robust project management and oversight to mitigate risks and ensure delivery on schedule. The UK's defense procurement strategy for the Dreadnought-class submarines emphasizes collaboration with industry partners, including BAE Systems and Rolls-Royce, who play pivotal roles in the program. BAE Systems leads the construction efforts, drawing on its expertise in submarine design and manufacturing, while Rolls-Royce provides the nuclear propulsion systems critical to the submarine's operational capabilities. The collaboration extends beyond domestic partnerships to include international cooperation with key suppliers and technology providers. This collaborative approach not only enhances the technology capabilities of these submarines, but also fosters innovation and knowledge sharing within the defense industry ecosystem. It underscores the UK's commitment to leveraging industry expertise and capabilities to deliver cutting-edge defense capabilities to meet national security objectives. The Dreadnought-class submarine program represents a significant financial commitment for the United Kingdom, with estimated costs running into the billions of dollars. While specific figures can vary due to evolving requirements and inflation, the UK government has allocated substantial resources to fund the design, construction, and operationalization of these advanced nuclear-powered submarines. The overall budget for the Dreadnought program is part of the broader defense spending framework, which includes investments in personnel, equipment, and infrastructure to maintain national security. Budget allocation for the Dreadnought-class submarines is strategically prioritized within the UK's defense procurement strategy reflecting the critical importance of maintaining a credible nuclear deterrent capability. Funding sources typically include allocations from the Ministry of Defense budget, supplemented by long-term financial planning and budgetary adjustments to accommodate the program's life cycle costs. This ensures that the UK can meet its defense commitments while managing fiscal responsibilities and economic stability. However, the allocation of significant resources to defense programs like the Dreadnought-class submarines can be contentious within public discourse. Critics often raise concerns about the opportunity costs associated with defense spending, arguing that funds could be diverted to other pressing national priorities, such as healthcare, education, or infrastructure. Public perception regarding defense expenditure varies, while some viewing it as an essential for national security and others advocating for greater transparency and accountability in defense budget management. The economic impact of the Dreadnought-class submarine program extends beyond direct expenditure to include indirect benefits such as job creation, technological innovation, and skills development within the defense industry.
Investment in advancements defense technologies stimulates growth in high-tech sectors, enhances industrial capabilities, and supports thousands of skilled jobs across the supply chain. This enhanced economic multiplier effect underscores the dual role of defense spending in enhancing the national security and driving economic growth. The introduction of the UK's Dreadnought-class submarines has elicited varied reactions from allies and adversaries alike, shaping international perceptions of nuclear deterrence and defense capabilities. Allies with NATO, including the United States and European partners, generally view the UK's investment in nuclear submarines positively, recognizing its contribution to collective defense and deterrence against common threats. Conversely, reactions from potential adversaries or countries with differing geopolitical interests may be more cautious or critical. Some nations perceive the deployment of nuclear-powered submarines as a provocative move that could escalate regional tensions or disrupt diplomatic stability. Managing international reactions requires careful diplomatic engagement and transparency regarding the UK's strategic intentions and adherence to international arms control agreements. Diplomatic engagements related to the Dreadnought-class submarines often revolve around discussions on nuclear deterrence, arms control, and non-proliferation. The UK participates actively in international forums and treaties aimed at promoting transparency, reducing nuclear risks, and reinforcing strategic stability. This includes commitments under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and ongoing negotiations on disarmament and verification measures to build trust and confidence among global stakeholders. Looking ahead, the deployment of the Dreadnought-class submarines could influence future geopolitical dynamics and strategic alliances. It may encourage other nuclear-armed states to reassess their defense postures and all investment priorities in response to a perceived shift in global security dynamics. Strategic alliances within NATO and beyond may evolve to accommodate shared interests in nuclear deterrence and collective security, influencing diplomatic strategies and regional security architectures. Security arch